Alrighty. It's time, I think, to get this show on the road. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, hello, hello. How am I looking? How am I sounding? Let me know if there's any audio issues. I think everything's working well. Now, I think, firstly, before I start off, uh, the one thing you're probably wondering first is, Badger, where the hell have the Final Fantasy XIII streams been for the last seven months? And I think I owe you an explanation for this. Um, okay, so I did actually kind of... Uh, I think there's something to be said. I did actually play through on stream this kind of chapter that we're going to end up playing through on stream. I was really unhappy with it. It was a really, really bad stream. I don't particularly want to go into the reasons for that. Um, uh, kind of, let's just say someone kind of came into the stream. There was kind of a very, very negative experience with that. I was just really unhappy with it and I wound up not wanting to post it. And because I didn't want to post it, I didn't want that to be the end of it. Obviously, I didn't th want that to be the end of it. I didn't want that to be the end of my Final Fantasy 13 stream. I was having such a good time doing it. But the problem was, in order for me, I kind of had to go back and play through like a whole bunch of the game again. Which I did, <laughs> but that was the problem. I had to go back. I had to go back. We need to go back. I had to go back and play through a whole bunch of the game again. I did it, but it just, um, it was just that, that doing it off stream without you guys here, like making jokes with me and, and all that, like it just, it wasn't as much fun. Um, but anyway, that was it. I just had to go back in time and redo some of the work I'd already done. But yeah, so that's, 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 that was the problem. Uh, I had to go back in time and redo some of the game and get to the point where we left off on on uh, to the last bit that you saw. Anyway, that's that. We're all caught up now. Uh, and hopefully everything, we won't have any of those issues again. Uh, yeah, I'm really, really sorry that it took me seven months <laughs> to get back to the playthrough. That won't happen again. Let's keep going. I, I, I was really enjoying playing the game before there was that one negative experience, so hopefully that won't happen again. Let's keep going with this game. Okay, wow, those sounds are way louder than I remember. Now, where were we up to in the story? To the amazement of the Lassie, the Primarch reveals himself to be a foul sea whose true name is Bartandalus. Showing nothing but contempt for his human tools, he proceeds to casually slaughter Colonel Nabat and her subordinates. See, I told you she wasn't an important character. Bartandalus then shrugs off the Lassie's attacks and with mocking laughter declares his intention to enlighten them. In order to fulfill the focus given to them by the Pulse Falci, he states, One of the Lassi must become Ragnarok and bring about the end of Cocoon. Sarah's task was simply to assemble the tools to achieve this end, to bring Snow and the others into contact with the lower world being. Her wish that they protect Cocoon was just that, a wish. It had nothing to do with her or their focus. Confounded by the naked truth, the dumbstruck Lassi flee the plummeting Palamesha on an airship provided by Bartandalus. Their craft is guided by an unseen power that protects them from Colonel Roche's onslaught and flies them towards the reality hidden beneath the capital of Cocoon. All right, so we're all caught up. We're all caught up to where I left the clips on Twitch and YouTube. Let's go. Something like that is close to Eden. Yeah, well, what I don't understand is after the purge and all that Lassie paranoia, why keep a chunk of pulse under the floorboards? Hmm. Is this what the Primarch wanted us to see? Frame rate of the game's looking really slow. I might end up having to... A place for Lassie to accept their fate. Do you really think our focus is what Dysley said it is? You 
mean become Ragnarok? Destroy the Falsi Eden and shatter Cocoon. It's what the vision's telling us, more or less. <sighs> So, we're back to square one. Out of luck. Mr. Hero! Cocoon calling Snow! Yeah, something's going wrong with the frame right here. I've not had this issue before. It's been so long since I've streamed, the game settings may have changed. It's almost like Dysley wants it to come true. Seems that way. <laughs> he sure didn't mind explaining it. Here's your focus on the silver platter. It's a foul sea thing. You know what I mean? Some grand design we just don't understand. Hang on a second. I may have to do some technical difficulties here. Huh. Hey, Snow! This frame rate Nothing is from really you? bothering me. I may have to just uh, restart the stream to figure out what's going on with this frame rate issue. This has not happened to me before. Yeah. This frame rate issue. Hold on. I'm going to X right out. We're just going to redo this beginning. Just pretend this didn't happen. I will be right back. We're just going to redo this beginning. Just pretend that this didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I haven't played this game in so long that we're just uh, facing some issues. Hang on a second. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I might just have to effectively lower the resolution a little bit. Let's try this again. Sorry, just have to make some technical adjustments on the fly here. I would never face this issue before where I had difficulty getting the game to run smoothly. This is very strange. Alright, hopefully this will be better now. going to see some a little behind the scenes stuff as so I have to I think change Technical difficulties. Gotta just make some adjustments on the fly here. This is, yeah, never had this issue before. But, 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 but. Okay. Uh, but, 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 but. Gonna just have to make some changes to the game capture. <laughs> 